Welcome guys, um, we're on to battleships versus torpedo boats and uh, this is the first proper difficult mission of the Naval Academy. Now, first time I completed this I used maneuverability and put my speed up so I could outrun them. Now, since playing the game quite a lot since then, I've thought maybe going for a secondary gun build might be a better option because you are quite limited on time on on this mission so uh, we're going to try the secondary gun option this time instead see how we get on now i've built the ship out rather strangely so i've been able to get two battleships instead of one and if you have a look here i've got secondary guns in strange places so in case you didn't know if you want to place something where it doesn't look like it normally can go hold down the control key and you can place things pretty much wherever you want to with the control key so uh, hopefully that'll help you to put things you know make some more unique designs I don't know if this is a good design or not but just so you know that you can. So yeah, you need two main guns on this hull, or yeah, on this hull. So I've managed to fit both main guns at the back, so I can then do this weird secondary gun spam at the front. So uh, I've just spammed um, small turrets, um, casemates rather than the big ones because they reload faster the rate of fire is quicker so hopefully they'll they'll do quite well but I have to admit I haven't got a clue so I've put two inches of armor on everything just to protect against some critical hits and I've given myself the barbette and the uh, citadel armor as well And that's about it, really. 22.7 speed. Let's see how we get on. So, because I've managed to get two battleships in this, I haven't actually looked at what the wind conditions are. I don't know if I have to keep them both alive. Single enemies, so I only have to keep one alive. So I can afford to just throw one in there absorb a load of torpedoes and then just keep the other one alive so I might just try that it's a bit reckless but you've got a very limited time to complete this mission so you have got to be quite reckless I just want to make sure that all the torpedoes target only one ship rather than uh, risk hitting both of them so I can't turn in on myself because then the other ship will be at risk so I've still got a fairly decent turning circle considering I took off all the maneuverability mods It actually looks better than it was when I had uh, all the maneuverability mods. That's weird, that is. What on earth is going on there? That's very odd. On the other one, I had rudders and uh, shafts, sorry, and auxiliary engines, steering wheels, and everything. <laughs> God knows why I've got a better maneuverability now. That's really odd. Well, this seems to be working really well. This is very odd. I'm just being dead reckless because I've got two ships, so I don't really mind if one of them gets destroyed. <laughs> I 
look at this. Well, the secondary gun um, tech was much more effective than going for maneuverability because uh, I couldn't hit anything with the maneuverability. And it, the, the odd thing is, is I'm actually more maneuverable without the maneuverability tech. So yeah, very odd. So if you are going to do this mission, just take the secondary uh, secondary gun tech. and build two battleships. Well, that went a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I hope that might have been helpful to you guys. Is it a lot easier than I remembered it being. Alright, take care guys, see you in the next one.